We're going to talk candy first. Did you guys get what I sent I you? I did. Oh, yes. I did. I got a package. And okay. uh, uh, hold on. Happens to be one of my faves. So this was on the nose. Sour Patch. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Sour Patch. <laughs> I have to Knocked order in it. bulk. Yeah, knocked three it out of the park. Three boxes of <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> like, I feel, yeah, and I eat. Here's the thing. Here's the problem. I I eat all the candy eventually. So yeah. you send me three of these, but I never eat candy. And I think I've gained like five pounds since we started recording these episodes. But that's okay. That's, that's okay. It's and you know. You know my tendency too. I mean, I message you about this frequently. My nonstop kind of problem <laughs> with candies and things like that. Now this three box, you know, is that a can of worms. Kind of no. I know. I She's get, not make, making life any easier. I get texts a lot of Jack standing in the candy aisle <laughs> at the grocery store, taking a picture. Like, did you know Sour Mamba existed? And he's always asking, and there's another one of our friends, Jenny. He's always asking us if we've tried it, if he should buy it. And then it always ends with him buying it and then like caking it all in the parking lot. Like either eating it in the parking lot or I'll be like, I walked away. I'm out. (laughs) I didn't do it. Yeah. Yesterday you texted us about little Debbie cakes. Yeah. And you walked away. Thank God. You really can't. You can't overdo those. No, um, but Sour Patch Kids. So, Jack, you, because I feel like we've texted about Sour Patch. This is one of your favorites. A hundred percent. Now, full disclosure, the watermelon Sour Patch are superior to I the regular Sour too. Patch. I love a yes, water. I love, <clears throat> love the Sour that's Patch. That's a given. Though. It's a given. It's not a given to everybody because it's caused well, a lot of fights in my life. No, I've Ooh. I've had serious debates about the watermelon versus the traditional. Yeah. And of course, the like main point that every truest to Sour Patch Kids has is that the problem with watermelon is that you only get watermelon. Whereas with Sour Patch, you get five flavors. Yeah. Four. I feel like I feel like and I don't know whether or not this is because these were in the sun. Uh-huh. But I feel like the one. <laughs> <laughs> like they're in my car. Um, I feel like the watermelons are a little bit like thicker, right? Mm-hmm. They're a little chewier. That's another yeah. thing too. You have These to like drier. the fact that like they're drier and they're thinner. So you can, you can mow through these where the watermelon ones, they're a little bit, they've got a little bit more meat to them. Yeah. These yeah. are canker sore makers, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. these are top of the mouth roof mm-hmm. leaders. Mm hmm. N- yeah, no stopping. Jack, what's your favorite flavor of Sour Patch? Um, I'm going to say blue raz, but I always go for blue raz. Like, I love blue raspberry everything. The I, generic flavor. I don't love blue raspberry everything, but I love blue raspberry Sour Patch. And this is going to be a weird question, but is blue raspberry a kind of newer flavor? Or has it always been in it? You know, I when mean, I opened the raspberry's box, been around for a long time, though, you know, it might when be I a new the, flavor. Yeah, I mean, it might. I don't know. I mean, blue raz is certainly an old flavor. But when I opened the box, they did stand out to me in a little. I've been buying the watermelons for so long. It's actually been a while since I've had the tradish. Because I feel like the tradish was just um, red, orange, yellow and green for a long time. I don't know. And then I got. So I didn't order myself a three pack. Um, I just went to the store and got some, and I have a mystery flavor in here. Oh, well, really? Uh huh. Will you be able to determine? Sometimes I wonder if I actually can decipher. (laughs) Is it pineapple? Or is it just, is it just, they just didn't put dye in one? Kind of. It's like kind of just sweet. Yeah. (laughs) Is the flavor. Oh. Hmm. I have some candy trivia. Okay. Mm. I have some candy trivia. All right. Uh, Related ish. Uh, It's about mystery flavors. So, um, you guys know the lollipop dum dums, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Little tiny lollipops. 
mystery flavor, right? Mm-hmm. You know why they have a, the mystery flavor? No. Well, yeah. okay. It's because when they make the lollipops and they make the sugar, you know, that, that the, like the sugar solution, the mystery flavor is where it overlaps because they don't want to just put like one flavor on and they don't want to stop the machine from making lollipops. So they put the two ends together and they just batch up the combo of the two flavors as the mystery flavor. So that's why you can never figure it out because yeah. it's actually a combo of the two flavors. So it is a mystery. It's you for, don't know. It's for efficiency. And they and like it was just like, well, can you just imagine that conversation too? It's like, well, we'll just call it mystery flavor and they'll fucking eat it. Like, <laughs> right. I, you think it was like, they'll love it. They'll love it. It'd be like, okay, John, well, uh, you know, I mean, if this doesn't work out, you could be the end of Dum Dums. <laughs> Seriously, it, though, I thought it was like a marketing ploy rather than just an efficiency thing. It's an efficiency thing. It's because yeah. of efficiency. It's because of, it's because of them not wanting to shut off the machine and load on another type of yeah. sugary substance. That's wild. 